Can I ask you a question about sure. your father? I don't know if anyone's asked you. I don't know how spiritual you are. I know you said you're a man of God. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you believe your, your father looking down on you. Yeah. But you said that he had a narcissistic complex. Yeah. That even when you became world champion 18, it's like, you got one, one, one other dude to whoop your ass, Andrew. Um, if he could talk to you now and see what you're going through. Uh, all the highs, the lows, the money, the women, the cars, the this, the that, the banning, all that. What do you think your father would say to you right now? And what do you think he would say to your brother? That's a really good question. I don't think he would comment so much on what's happening, happening to me more than he'd comment on how I'm handled, which has also been a massive source of strength for me. Like if, if he were to come back to life for a day, I don't think we'd waste much time talking about the Matrix and why they're doing it. I think he already had an innate understanding of that because of how he lived his life and how he was attacked. He already understands all of that. It would just be how I'm dealing with it personally and how I'm using it to my advantage. The moves on the chessboard. And, and once again, when I was saying before about using your last name and the duty to it as a massive source of power, that's been a massive source of power to me my whole life and during this experience. Like they've attacked me from every, every angle. They've tried to destroy me from every angle. I'm a Tate. This is going to backfire. <laughs> they push that palm and I'm about to fucking wreck them. That's just who I am, right? So I think he'd be more, he'd be far more happy with how we've handled it as opposed to commenting on what's actually happened. And my father was very, very family orientated. The other thing he'd be very, very big about is talking about me and my brother and making sure that we have progeny and, and raising them correctly. He, was, he, he made it very clear to me for, for a very long time, the most important thing you can do is have children. This is the most important thing you can do. The rest of it, it's the link he to the, told. he told us that. He said, it's, he, in fact, on his own Twitter account, my father's not banned from Twitter. He stopped tweeting in 2014, maybe. Tate Terrific on Twitter. You can look him up right now. He has a few tweets on Twitter. It's obviously, he's dead. The count's dormant. It's all there. Tate Terrific. And one of his tweets is, love is my link to the future. I have three kids. If I could live forever, I would deny it. The better versions of myself already walk the earth. That's what he said. And he said that before he died. So he, he has, yeah, he has all his tweets. And still to this day, sometimes I'll go back and read some of his tweets. And it gives me inspiration. I'll give you another one he said. I read only a few days ago because I read through his Twitter account sometimes. He said, I allow manipulation to see where my enemy wants me to go. Then I use my mind to break the trap and punish all perpetrators. And I like that. So he'll, he'll, he'll watch the news. I used to see my dad watch the news, allow the manipulation, watch it all, turn it off and say, son, this is bullshit. And he'd sit there and dissect it all from head to toe. So he'd allow manipulation. He wouldn't deny it. He wouldn't say, mm -hmm. no, don't come at me with bullshit. He'd say, oh, you have a bullshit story. Come tell me your bullshit story. Come tell me. He would say, don't watch the news. No, no, it's no, all he'd bullshit. Say, no, no, tell me, tell me. Embrace tell me. it. And then he'd use it, his mind then... to break the trap and punish the perpetrator. So he was very understanding of this. And a lot of his tweets are good for these kind of things. He was saying, allow them to attempt to manipulate me. It's no problem. Another thing he says, one of the things I said earlier in this podcast was his. You must analyze every firmly held be belief you have. Realize where it came from, who gave it to you, and if they have your best interests at heart, resist the slave mind. He said all this stuff, so I'll tweet it out. So yeah, he's, he's, still, he's still alive to a degree. You know? So whether he's watching or not, he's, he, he, one, on one of my Instagram posts, which got deleted, there was a uh, Pavetkin, the boxer. It was an it, it uh, interaction in his corner of the 11th round of a title fight for Pavetkin in the early 2000s. And his corner was saying, do you miss your father? And he said, yes, that's the father. He goes, if you become champion, he lives forever. And he's right. If you become remarkable enough as a man, they talk about your origin story, which is your father. So it is my duty to my father to be the man I am. Totally. No one would be talking about my dad, maybe in chess circles, but no one would be talking about my dad in mainstream consciousness if I wasn't who I am. No doubt. So I keep him alive. Yeah. And it is my son's duty to do exactly that for me, to keep me alive. The man who got banned and broke social media, big tech monopoly. Mm -hmm. This is my son's job. So this is what's so important. This is, he lives forever through me. Yeah. And he'll live through it for, and, and I will live forever through my, through my son. And that's the beautiful thing of, about can, life. Can I tell you something about Pat? I don't know how much you know, but, but there's a lot of similarities in your guys' story, right? Uh, his biggest influence, his biggest hero in his life, no doubt is your father. Absolutely. No doubt. And uh, you're, you have deep sense of history. You also have a deep sense of the bloodline and legacy, you know, uh, Past, present, yep. future. That's that's a clear yep. understanding about you. Pat, you have a similar thing, man. I, you you talk about the Bet David. In, the, in this house, the Bet Davids, the Bet David, the, the last name, the last name of this, uh, it's, it's, it almost like shapes greatness. My father, I was like, dude, I'm trying to be the exact opposite of you. I had yeah, a yeah, very yeah. tumultuous relationship with my dad. Yeah. But a lot of the story that Andrew's saying, you must identify within yourself. No question about it. Like the whole Bet David, the Tate part where Tate's were just, the other day we're walking with Dylan. 
Dylan's my eight year old. And I said, Dylan, you realize we have the most powerful last name in the world. And he says, yeah, I know. 30 seconds later, he's not saying anything. He says, daddy, how do you know that? I says, that's all that matters that you believe it. You just have to believe it. It's as long as you do, you're scored away. He says, I believe it. I said, that's all that matters. You're a bit David. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch the entire podcast, click over here. And if you want to be connected with experts, influencers, such as Kiyosaki, Tate, Connolly, Palminteri, myself, and others, download the app Minect, where you get a chance to connect with these folks by the minute. You get to by the minute or have FaceTimes with them, 15 minutes, ask them any questions you may want to have. Download the app Minect and start connecting with influencers and experts today.